Few things are prettier than a tree in full bloom, but there are some that certainly stand out from the rest. Here are the top 15 most beautiful types of trees. Number 15. The Golden Ginkgo If you're willing to take a trip to northwestern China, then you can experience one of the most beautiful trees known to man. Found high up in the Zhongnan Mountains, the tree is located on the grounds of the Gu Guanyin Buddhist Temple, which is one of the largest Buddhist temples in the region. Reportedly planted about 1400 years ago during the Tang Dynasty, it stands apart thanks to the beautiful gold leaves that fall away from it every fall, as these create a sea of gold around its trunk. Pre-pandemic, as many as 60,000 people would visit over a small 20-day period just to see the leaf falling in action. Generally speaking, it received ravering reviews. Therefore, if you want to see something that's truly unique, we suggest checking this temple out at some point or another. Number 14. The Japanese Cherry Tree While Japan is known for both its man-made and natural beauty, its cherry trees are perhaps some of the prettiest things to come from the island. They're endemic to Japan, China, and Korea, and while they are all beautiful, the Japanese ones stand apart due to Japan's history of selectively breeding various cherry trees via a complex method of crossing several wild species. As a result, there are many different cultivars or cherry trees around today, with their colors ranging from pink to red to white to green. These trees are used as ornamental decorations around the world, and thus they really are one of the most beautiful trees out there. Number 13. The Rainbow Eucalyptus Typically speaking, most of the trees we see in the forest are colored in some variation of brown and green. However, the Rainbow Eucalyptus turns this on its head by being one of the few multicolored trees out there. Now, the Rainbow Eucalyptus is the only eucalyptus tree indigenous to the Northern Hemisphere, as it's native to the tropical forests of the Philippines, New Guinea, and Indonesia, and has been cultivated in many other countries around the world. Growing to heights of up to 75 meters, its main claim to fame is its striped, multicolored bark, which appears in streaks of pale green, red, orange, gray, and purplish-brown. However, beyond its beautifully colored bark, it's ironically often used to create plain white paper, with most of the tree plantations engaging in this practice being located in the Philippines. Regardless, we think you'd agree, this tree is one of the most vibrant on this list. Number 12. The Jacarandas Tree while the dripping blue petals of a jacarandas may look like they were plucked straight from a fairy tale, it turns out that the jacarandas trees are very real and very beautiful. Endemic to South and Central America, these trees are widely revered for their attractive and long-lasting violet-colored flowers. It has been planted in practically every region of the world where there is no danger of frost as it thrives in hot climates, and in particular, it's widely grown in the Southern United States, Southern Europe, and South Africa, and Australia. In terms of height, they can grow to as much as 20 meters tall, with each flower being up to 5 centimeters long. And thus, when fully in bloom, they are truly a sight to behold. Yet, given that jacarandas are considered to be a vulnerable species in its native range, it's probably for the best that they've been exported abroad. Number 11. Sculpted Trees Generally speaking, most people enjoy looking at trees that have been untouched by human hands. However, vivid arbor sculptors certainly wouldn't agree. That's because rather than simply allow a tree to grow, these sculptors will use a variety of different techniques to make a tree grow in a strange yet special way. In particular, they tend to achieve specific angles by grafting together two pieces of a living plant so that they grow together into one tree. And in addition to this, techniques such as trimming, bending, stalking, and tying are all commonly used. Once all is said and done, the fruits of their labor will often look vastly different to their natural counterparts, and in some cases, they'll be even more beautiful. So it shouldn't come as a surprise that this practice has become increasingly popular in recent years. Number 10. The Socotra Dragon Blood Tree If you ever get the opportunity to visit the small island of Socotra off the coast of Yemen, then you'll get the chance to see what is undeniably one of the most beautiful trees in the world. Known as the Socotra Dragon Blood Tree, it stands apart due to it roughly depicting the shape of an upside down umbrella. And it's named the Dragon Blood Tree thanks to the dark red blood like sap that it produces. However, while this tree may be impressive, it's currently under threat. That's because while most of its ecological habitats are still intact, the island's increasing population, industrialization, and tourism developments have led to a lot of pressure to begin logging the trees in order to put up the farms and businesses. 
This has been made even worse thanks to the heavy presence of cattle that overgraze the land around the trees and the tendency of the locals to feed the trees seeds to livestock. And thus, by the year 2080, it's predicted that about 45% of Socotra's current dragon blood tree population will be gone. Therefore, we suggest staying away from Yemen until the situation there clears up a bit. But we still suggest making your way over there before these trees are gone forever. Number 9. The Flamboyant Tree If you want a tree that's loud and proud, then the flamboyant tree is the perfect species for you. While it is native to Madagascar, it's been planted in tropical locations across the world, and given its bright colors, it's not hard to see why. Now, these trees typically thrive in hot locations, and interestingly enough, they will only flower in mild to severe drought-like conditions because they can actually suffer root rot if the soil gets too wet. However, they can also prepare for colder temperatures due to the fact that they are deciduous as they'll have a bright red flower that bloom on them in the summer and their leaves fall off in the winter. Generally, they will grow wider than they are tall, and this is an adaptation that's used to keep itself grounded when winds are high or when tropical cyclones make landfall. Yet beyond themselves, the trees also seem to take a minor toll on wildlife, as their flowers are a favorite snack of iguanas, and while it doesn't hurt them in any way, these flowers can actually make their droppings a bright orange color. So we think it's fair to say that the flamboyant tree can brighten up anyone's day. We are constantly adding more people to the Top 5's production team to bring you all the best content. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on and hit the like button. Number 8. The Cannonball Tree As far as bright colors go, few species are quite as incredible as the Cannonball Tree. Native to the tropical forests of Central and South America, this tree is best known for sprouting huge red flowers and delicious fruit from its branches. Now, the tree itself can reach heights of up to 35 meters and can hold as many as a thousand flowers at any given time. Each flower measures in at about 30 centimeters long, and they will often cover the entirety of a tree until every single space is occupied. While the petals are generally a vibrant bright pink to red in color, they also have a very vibrant smell, as they are typically extremely fragrant. However, what is far less fragrant are their fruits. Typically spherical with woody shells and up to 25 centimeters in diameter, they reportedly taste quite good. However, because they have a pretty putrid smell, they are generally fed to cattle and other animals rather than eaten at the dinner table. Yet this smelly fruit hasn't stopped a tree from being widely revered, as they have been adopted as sacred to Hindus, who believe that its hooded flowers look like the Naga, which is a collection of deities and semi-deities. Thus, these trees are grown at Shiva temples across the country, and given their beauty, we'd say it's pretty cool. Number 7. The Angel Oak While oak trees may not be known for their stunning beauty, there is a special oak tree in South Carolina that will make you look twice. Known as the Angel Oak, it's located just off the coast of Johns Island, and by all accounts is extremely impressive. That's because the tree is thought to be four to 500 years old, and in that time has grown to a height of 20 meters and a circumference of 8.5 meters. Yet due to its huge 57-meter-long branches, the tree covers a whopping 1,600 square meters of ground space. In terms of its history, the name of the oak derives from the last name of former estate owner Justice Angel, and according to local folklore, the ghosts of former slaves would periodically surround the tree as angels. Yet despite this divine connection, the tree has been battered and damaged by hurricanes in the past. However, just as impressively, it has been able to weather every single storm. Thus, while the jury still hung on whether or not the angel oak has had some divine help to stay around for so long, we think you'd agree that the massive tree is quite beautiful. Number 6. The Oyamel Furs Most would agree that butterflies are beautiful creatures. Yet among them all, the monarch butterfly quite literally reigns king. It's right at home in Canada and the United States during the summer, but in the winter it needs to migrate to the warm forests of Mexico in order to survive. Typically speaking, it will travel to an oyamel fir to stay in the winter, and the result is often fantastic. That's because while oyamel firs are rather bland for most of the year, during the winter they will typically be covered in monarch butterflies, with some oyamel forests essentially changing from green to orange for months on end. As such, there's a large tourist market to see these trees in action, and as the site is really nothing short of incredible. However, the beauty of these oyamel firs have been in grave danger for the past few decades, as over time the population of both monarch butterflies and oyamels has significantly declined. 
to save the Oyamel population, scientists have resorted to planting new Oyamel forests up in the mountains, as global warming has warmed the air at sea level so much that these trees can no longer survive. Thus, while it will be certainly a tall order, we hope that the Mexican government will be able to successfully relocate these trees so that the monarch butterfly population won't suffer more than it already has. Number 5. Redwood While there are plenty of tall trees on this list, redwoods are the largest of them all. Found on the west coast of California and British Columbia, these trees can easily grow to over 100 meters tall with the world's tallest tree being a redwood by the name of Hyperion that measures in at an incredible height of 115.7 meters. However, their length is complemented by their width as they can have a diameter of up to 7 meters. And when combined with their height, just a single tree can produce as much as 725,000 kilograms of wood. To top this off, these trees seem to have unlocked the key to near immortality as they can live for up to 2,000 years. As far as trees go, these gentle giants truly are beautiful. However, in order to stay strong and healthy, redwoods rely on some pretty specific environmental conditions. They generally need a moderate coastal climate to survive, as they rely on heavy and frequent fogs coming in from the coast to ward off dry spells and drought. Redwoods also require abundant amounts of water, and since they get their water from rain rather than snowmelt, they need consistent rainfall throughout the year, with this sometimes being generated by the redwoods themselves due to them creating rain via a process where they trap fog and make clouds within their branches. Yet while these conditions may sound specific, when everything is in line, they are by and large one of the fastest growers and taller showers in the world. So if you want to see some of these for yourself, we recommend visiting one of the many redwood groves that exist across California. Number 4. Giant Sequoias while redwoods and giant sequoias may often be confused for one another, they are actually entirely different species that live in entirely different areas within the state of California. You see, while redwoods require damp soil and coastal conditions, giant sequoias grow best in drier areas with a lot of sunlight. More specifically, they're found on the west side of the Sierra Nevada mountain range at elevations between 1500 and 2150 meters above sea level. This environment provides the dry mountain air necessary for their cones to open up and release seeds, and rather than rely on rainwater, they typically rely off the snowpack from the Sierra Nevada mountains as it provides them with thousands of liters of water per day. However, as far as size goes, they are a step below their redwood counterparts as they typically grow to heights of more than 75 meters and diameters of about 9 meters with a giant sequoia by the name of General Sherman taking the cake for being the largest due to its massive height of 84 meters and diameter of about 5 meters. Yet while giant sequoias may fall short in the size department, they more than make up for it with their longevity, as they have an insanely long lifespan of between 3 and 3,500 years. This makes them one of the most long-living tree species on the planet, and typically they don't die a biological death. Rather, things such as fires and tree fungus will eventually destabilize the base, and while these almost never kill the tree, they can often throw it so off balance that it eventually falls over. So we think it's fair to say that these trees are truly impressive. Number 3. The Banyan Tree Trees tend to stay in one place and will grow upwards in order to take in the sun's rays. However, the banyan tree turns this on its head as it tends to grow sideways and upwards in order to stake out its portion of sunlight. Now, the expansive ability of these trees is absolutely unmatched as they're able to take up 1,300 square meters of space with just a single plant. For reference, this is about the size of a city block, and when coupled to the fact that its branches can reach heights of up to 80 meters, it's not hard to see why these trees get a bit of attention. Now, these trees pull off their expansive escapades by spreading their seeds out so they land on other trees and then sending their own roots down to smother their hosts and then growing into smaller branch-supporting pillars that look like new tree trunks. This gives these trees the appearance of walking over an area of land after some time, and thus its classification as a strangler fig and walking tree are pretty spot on. However, these trees are perhaps best known not for their physical aspects, but for their symbolic meaning. You see, banyan trees are very common in India and are considered to be a sacred plant by Hindus, although at the same time they've also been used by British colonial administrations to hang dissidents during their rule over the country. As such, these two realities have caused Indians to now have a very special relationship with the banyan, and thus it shouldn't come as a surprise that they've became India's national tree after the country achieved independence. 
Number two, the baobab tree. Madagascar is known for being home to some seriously strange species, and the baobab tree is no exception. Now, while different species of this tree are technically found throughout continental Africa, Madagascar, and Australia, it's the Grandidier's baobab that is the most famous. Found only in Madagascar, it has a long trunk and flat branches that appear almost like the palm of a hand, and even has large dry fruits with kidney-shaped seeds and an edible pulp. Often growing to heights of 30 meters and living for over 800 years, these trees are nearly unmatched in terms of longevity, and they have a number of techniques in store in order to ensure their survival in even the toughest of weather conditions. In particular, they're known to store large quantities of water within their trunks, and the circumference of their trunk will actually increase or decrease in size depending on how much water it's storing. Yet, despite their longevity, these baobabs are still considered to be an endangered species. That's because the increase of agricultural land in Madagascar has caused many of these trees to be cut down for timber, and even young trees have had a difficult time growing in less densely forested climates. A number of protected areas have been set up by the government in an effort to save this species. The most famous of these is the Avenue of the Baobabs, which is a stretch of scenic dirt road that's surrounded on all sides by baobab trees. Yet while these efforts have proven successful so far, we still suggest flying down to Madagascar to give these trees a look before it's too late. Number 1. The Aspen Pando Generally speaking, a tree will grow in a solitary state, but there are some aspens that do things a little differently. That's because in Aspen, there is a group of trees that have interconnected their roots to create one giant living organism, known as the Pando. This massive tree was first classified in 1976 by Jerry Kemperman and Burton Barnes, and after some measurements in 1992, it was estimated that it was the heaviest living organism on Earth, as it likely comes in at about 6 million kilograms and spans across a 43-hectare plot of land. While the trees that inhabit it come and go, the organism itself is thought to be ancient, as its underground root system is likely about 16,000 years old. Now, if you'd like to visit this incredible tree for yourself, you're going to have to venture to the Fremont River Ranger District in the Fish Lake National Forest, which is located in south-central Utah. Unfortunately, while the pando has been around for a while, many scientists are worried that it may not last forever, as it faces a combination of tricky challenges such as drought, human development, grazing, and fire suppression. Of these, one of the largest threats is actually grazing, as ever since the 1980s, the areas in and around the Pendo have been eaten up by mule deer, elk, and domestic cattle, with this being a problem, because this has prevented the Pendo from developing enough young stems to fully replace existing older stems as they die. Thus, unless this problem is met with some protective measures, the Pendo may begin to slowly and painfully decline. On our end, we just hope the United States Forest Service will pour some more funding into Pando's well-being sooner rather than later. Watch our nature playlist for more top 15 videos about beautiful nature. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best nature videos.